we all we all make mistakes right that's that's life we all make mistakes and then we uh talk about it for several minutes on youtube that's what life is Today is the day and the time that we learn Be Kind by Alex G. I'm gonna say it, I don't care that you broke your elbow. Also, I think this is the hardest Alex G song. Of all of the Alex G songs I have learned to play, this is the most difficult. Standard tuning, no capo. There are, I'm gonna say, four parts to the song. We've gotta learn an intro, we've gotta learn a verse, an interlude, and a chorus. Let's start with the intro. Let me, let me start off just by showing you the basic chords for the intro. And then after that, we'll allow, we will elaborate on the accoutrement, the embellishments, the fancy stuff. A minor chord. We're not gonna use the top string. Second string from the top is open. Middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. Ring finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. Pointer finger on the first fret of the second to bottom string, A minor chord. Uh, there are going to be a couple different strumming patterns. The basic strumming pattern that works throughout most of the song is you go down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, let's do that a couple times. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, do it again. Down, down, up. Up, down, up. Fantastic. You did a great, you did a great job. After the A minor, we go to a C. So we've got A minor. To get to C from A minor, all you do is you lift up your ring finger and you bring it up to the third fret on the second string from the top. That is a C chord. You know what I should have mentioned for the A minor and now I'm gonna go ahead and mention it for the C chord. Go ahead and, ha go ahead and have your thumb come up over the top, touch the top string, and mute it. The thumb is gonna be doing a lot of, there's a lot of tricky thumb business in this song. There's some normal thumb business, but also a fair amount of tricky thumb business. Thumb comes up over the top, touches the top string. All right, so we got A minor. Uh. Then we go to the C. Then we go to an F, but have no fear, it is not a bar chord F. It's an uh, a easier F. It's actually an F major seven. So we've got our C chord here. Keep your pointer finger in the same spot, but take your ring finger and your middle finger and just move them down one string like that. See that? So now from the bottom, we've got open, first fret, second fret, third fret. Thumb is muting the top string. That's our our F major seven chord, fantastic. From that F major seven, you just go right back up to C. So now the first four chords are A minor, C, F major seven, well, let's call it F, then back to C. Okay, great, now we go to D minor, no one's favorite chord, it's, it's fine. The D minor's fine. Pointer finger, first fret on the bottom string, Ring finger, third fret on the second string from the bottom. Middle finger, second fret on the third string from the bottom. You're gonna play the D string, the third string from the top, open. Uh, your thumb comes up over the top, mutes the top string if you feel like it's comfortable. You could actually have your thumb mute both of the top two strings. If, that, if that's not doing it for you, just mute the top string and have the second string from the top open. Perfectly fine. D minor. Then we're gonna go back to the F major seven. Am I doing it right? I am, look at that. Then we go back to D minor, then back to F major seven, then back to D minor, then we go back to F again, play F an additional time, and then we go to C, and then C again. That was so many chords. Let's slowly play through those basic chords together. I will yell out the names of them as we go. It's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna have a party up in here. One, two, three, four. A minor to C, and 
and then the F back to C. Oh, D minor, good luck. Oh, we did it. Then F back to D minor, back to F, back to D minor, F again, stay on F. Then to C, stay on C. Great job, guys, great job. That was so much fun. That was so much fun. I wish we could have fun like that all the time, but unfortunately, now we have to learn a very difficult part of the song, which is all of the extra stuff for the intro. All right, from the very beginning, we're, okay, so, so this is, okay, here's what just happened. I just taught you the, the easy chord version. Now we are going to learn the actual authentic version. You can play it either way you want, but let's let's get down to brass business here. A minor chord. Instead of just doing that basic strumming pattern the whole time, I would like you, I just lost all of my motivation. Did you see? It's like, it's like I'm all like doing it and then all of a sudden I just go. And then I'm just, I'm just kind of done. So we're back at our A minor at the very beginning, but now we're gonna add in this extra stuff. Check it out. That's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited. We've got our A minor chord. Uh, go ahead and do just a tiny little baby strum where you just hit the top couple strings. Then do a big strum where you hit all the strings. Oh, fantastic. Listen to that. It's so much positivity. At this point in time, do another little baby strum. Then you're gonna lift up your middle finger and your ring finger. Keep your pointer finger there and do a little strum up. And then put your middle finger on the second fret of the second string from the top. Do a tiny little baby strum down. Lift up your middle finger, do a strum up. And then go to a C chord and strum down. So that was like this. We did A minor. So we kind of have those little tiny little strums up while we're moving from chord to chord. Once you get to C, we just strum down on C, then lift up your middle finger, play the D string, the third string from the top, which is gonna be open now because you just took your middle finger off of it. As soon as you play that note, you're gonna hammer on with your middle finger right back to where it was on that second fret of the third string from the top. So a hammer on is just where you play a string and then you smash your finger back down onto the string and you just wanna do it forcefully and with vigor. When I try to, when I do a hammer on, I try to think of it like, I don't feel like I'm trying to hit the string. I feel like I'm trying to push the string into the fingerboard of the guitar. Great job. And then you're gonna strum up on the C chord, but if possible, aim for the G string, the third string from the bottom when you strum up. If you hit more notes, that's great, but aim for that G string. And then finally on the C chord, you just strum up down. That was a lot of stuff. Here, here it is very slowly. One, two, three, four. We did it. Uh, at this point, I would like to say that while I am trying to teach you exactly what Alex G plays, I think with this song, you can make it your own a little bit. If you, if there's some parts that are a little tricky, you can't quite get them right, or you do something a little different, I think everybody's gonna understand, and I think it's gonna sound great, and I think you should let your light shine, and your creativity, and your, your uniqueness. Well, let's get on with the show. After the C chord, we're gonna go to our F, Major seven chord. We're not doing anything fancy here. We're just going down, down, up, up, down. Great. And then we go back to a C. Things are about to get really gnarly. I'm just gonna warn you. There's like the microphone casts a shadow right on my face. I probably should move the microphone, but I'm maybe just a little, I apologize. That's a little better. We get to our C chord. We're gonna strum down, down. Nothing crazy there. And this is where it gets crazy. You're gonna go down, down on C. Then you're gonna do a tiny little baby strum on C. Then your pinky plays the third fret on the second to bottom string. And you're gonna try to strum up on just that one string. You're gonna try to aim for that string with your pick. Again, if you hit an extra string like I just did, no problem, but aim for that second to bottom string. So that was 
Mm -hmm. Okay, then you go back and do a tiny little baby strum on C. Again, when I say baby strum, that just means hit the top one or two strings. Not a big deal. At this point in time, we have to go to a D minor chord. And you're gonna start off by strumming up on that bottom string of the D minor chord. Such a good job. Then we do a little baby strum on the D minor. Then get rid of your pointer finger over here and strum up on the bottom string. Then, at this point in time, you're gonna do another little baby strum of the D minor. Then you're gonna aim for the second string from the bottom and strum up. Okay, great. Then another baby strum. Then get rid of your ring finger, put your pointer finger on the first fret of the second string from the bottom and strum up on that string. So that was a lot of stuff. Here's what we just did. Starting from the C, we went down, down, down. Let's do that one more time because I didn't do a great job. One, two, three, four. I think that was better, right? Do you see, see how that goes? We're kind of just doing this little alternating between picking up on a string down here and then a tiny little strum down on the chord over here. Immediately following that first fret on the second to bottom string, we're gonna do another little baby strum on this D minor, but our D minor, if we're being honest, is kind of falling apart. It doesn't really resemble a D minor anymore. But we're gonna do our little baby strum. And then we're gonna strum up on the G string, the third string from the bottom. We've got our middle finger on the second fret there. Keep your pointer finger on the first fret as well. You're gonna strum up on that. And then now we're done with the D minor officially. We're going to our F chord. All you have to do is put your ring finger on the third fret of the third string from the top. And then we've got our F. You're gonna strum down on the F. And then you're gonna strum down on the F again. So that was a lot of stuff we did. Starting from the C, we went like this. I'm not gonna be able to really talk through it while I play it, because that's it's just too hard. But I'm gonna do it really slowly. Watch my hand, it's gonna be great. You're gonna love it. One, two, three, four. That's pretty good. Yeah, I messed up, but whatever. We all we all make mistakes, right? That's that's life. We all make mistakes, and then we uh, talk about it for several minutes on YouTube. That's what life is. We're at this F chord. We just strum down twice. Then you're gonna do a little baby strum. Put your pinky on the third fret of the second to bottom string. Strum up, and then a baby strum on the D F chord. And then we go back to D minor and we do that entire same sequence again. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying there? Um, this is probably a good time to play it. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna do it from the beginning one more time. To tie it all together, before, no, no, that's a stupid idea. I'm gonna teach you the next part. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm confusing myself. We're gonna pretend all that made sense. We just did our D minor thing twice. We're gonna act like we're gonna start it a third time. Well, we are gonna start it a third time. We go F, F, down, up with the pinky on the third fret of the B string. Then we go to D minor. We do our same thing again, up, open bottom string up on the B string, but then instead of going down to the first fret on the B string, you're gonna put your pinky on the third fret of the bottom string, play that bottom string, and then immediately slide it up to five, and then you're gonna go back down to the third fret and get an F chord lined up, but with the pinky on the third fret of the bottom string. So that means we've got pinky on the third fret of the bottom string, pointer finger on the first fret of the second to bottom, middle finger, second fret on the third from the bottom, ring finger, third fret on the third string from the top. Here's what it is. We get down to there. We get down to that, that F with the pinky. We go up, up, down. Okay, so 
up on the bottom string, then on the chord you play up, down. Get rid of your pinky, do the same thing again, up, up, down. Put your pinky on the third fret of the second to bottom string, pluck that second to bottom string up, then up, down. Get rid of your pinky, play the B string second to bottom string again, up, down. So that was this, we just went, Oh boy, and then we go to a C chord, just a normal C chord, and we just get to do some regular strums. We just go. We've made it through the intro. I'm gonna play the whole intro all the way through for you. I'm not gonna make any mistakes. One, two, three, four. I give myself an A minus. I think that was pretty great. That's the intro. We never have to play it ever again. We're done. Now we get to the verse. Watch your mouth, he says, as he sings. My name's Stuart. Hello. Welcome. Like and subscribe if you uh, want me to. I don't know. Oh, should I show? Okay, let me show you the basic chords for the verse. You ready? Basic chords are simple. Piece of cake. A minor. C. F major seven. C. D minor, F major seven, C, C. Great, that was amazing. You can write that in your little notebook. You can carry those chords with you forever. Put them in your pocket. Okay, I'm nervous because, because this next part's gonna suck. Okay, so let's learn the complicated version of the verse now, the authentic Alex G version. A minor, totally normal. We're just going down, down, up. Watch your mouth. And we go to C, down, down, up. Normal, F is totally normal. The C is totally normal. Uh, wait, no, that's not true. The C is a little weird. On the C, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna play down, down. Then look at this. This is gonna seem mighty familiar. Did you see what I just did? I just did the exact same thing from the intro. On the C chord, we go down, down, down. Pinky on the third fret of the B string. Down on the C. Up on the D minor chord. Then down. Get rid of your pointer finger. Then down. Up on the B string, second string from the bottom. Then down. Up on the first fret on the B string with your pointer finger. And then down and then up on the second fret on the G string, and then down on an F chord. So I just rushed through that very quickly because we already learned it in the introduction. The difference between this and in the introduction, in the introduction they do that like three times or whatever, in this we just do it the one time. So after we get to the F, we're gonna do our regular strumming on the F, then we go to a C but the C is gonna be a little different. Here's what we're gonna do on the C chord. One, two, three, four. That was a lot of stuff. Did you see all that? So pretty much what's happening here is I'm gonna play a bass note plucking down, which means one of the low strings plucking down. Then I'm gonna try to hit the G string, the third string from the bottom, coming up. If I miss that G string and hit another string or hit a couple strings, no big deal, sounds great. Check this out. We've got our C chord. You're gonna play the second string from the top, then jump down to that G string, third string from the bottom. Then you're gonna play the open third string from the top. So get your middle finger off of there, play that string open, and then strum up on the G string again. Then put your middle finger back onto the second fret of that third string from the top. Play the third string from the top. Then up on the G string. Fantastic. That was this. Great. Then your ring finger pops up to the top string on the third fret. Play the top string, then go back to the G string. 
Here's where it gets a little gnarly. Your thumb plays the first fret on the top string. Oh, but you have to get your ring finger out of there. Duh. There it is. Then you play the G string again. Then get rid of your thumb, play the top string open. Back to the G string. Ring finger goes back to the third fret on the top string. Then up on the G string. And then your thumb plays the second fret on the top string. And then up on the G string. That's it. That's it for the verse. Can we play the whole verse all the way through? One, two, three, four. Watch your mouth. Or I'll make you wash it out. <laughs> so, like I said, it's hard. There's a lot of stuff going on. That's the verse. We did it. We did it, and I'm very proud of us. Now we have to move to the weirdest part of the song. This is maybe the hardest part. Maybe not. I don't know. You be the judge. Let's see if I even remember how this goes. I'm calling this the interlude. This is the interlude of the song. It goes a little something like this. One, two, three, four. Yes, there was a bar chord. You can handle one bar chord. F chord, get an F chord locked and loaded. Add your pinky to the third fret of the bottom string. That makes it into an F add nine chord. And then uh, your thumb is gonna come up and play the first fret on the top string. Yeah, I know. Your thumb's not long enough. Your hands are too small. My guitars are made of uh, pointy pins and it makes me bleed, yeah. We all have guitars that are made of pointy pins. We all bleed. As Batman said to Superman or something, I don't remember. I watched like 20% of uh, Superman v Batman Dawn of Justice. Batman v Superman? But yeah, so basically using your thumb for this is gonna suck a little bit. Um, the truth is, if you have like a big classical guitar or if you have like small hands, it might be kind of tough. So we've got our F chord with the pinky and the thumb up on the top. You're gonna go like this. You're gonna strum down on the top couple strings. Then you're gonna strum down up on all the strings. So it's like that. Beautiful, fantastic, amazing job. Take your thumb, get it out of there. Take these two fingers, your ring finger and your middle finger, move them each up a string. So see, I went from this to this. I just take those two, move them like that. Play the top string open and then strum down up on the chord. Then take these two fingers, move them up to the top two strings and do the same thing. And then this is where it gets a little bit weird. You're gonna get these fingers out of here and your thumb is gonna play the second fret on the top string. This chord's kind of ugly. I think he might sometimes put his middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom, but I can't really tell. Um, let's recap those four chords we just did. We had our F with the pinky, thumb up on the first fret of the top string, down, down, up. Then get rid of your thumb, move your middle and ring finger up a string, top string open. Take these two fingers, move them up to the top two strings. Then have your thumb play the second fret on the top string. Now, you absolutely could have your middle finger come up and play that second fret on the top string. The only reason I'm not doing it that way is because that's not how Alex G does it. He just clearly uses his thumb there. We're gonna play this sequence of chords two times in a row. So it goes like this.
Fantastic. Then it sounds like they do it another time, but it's a little different. Start with your F with the pinky exactly the same. Down, down, up. Then you're going to play the second string from the top open and then down, up. Then get uh, lift up your ring finger and your middle, uh, yeah, ring finger and middle finger. Put your middle finger on the, no, 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 no. Put your ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the top. Play that note and then down, up. Then play the open D string. Keep your ring finger there. Play the open third string from the top and then down up. Put your middle finger on the second fret of the D string. So now we have a C chord with the pinky. You're gonna play the third string from the top, down, up. Then play the G string, the third string from the bottom by itself, and then strum down, up. So here's what we just did. We just did. It's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, not gonna lie. Then we go to an F minor nine chord with F minor add nine. It doesn't have a seven, who, who cares? Ring finger, third fret on the third string from the top. Pinky, third fret on the bottom string. And then here's where it's gonna suck. Your pointer finger has to push on the first fret of the second to, uh, of the second to bottom string and the third to bottom string. So from the, starting from the bottom, we've got three, one, one, three. On this chord, you're gonna strum down, down, up, up, down, up. No, no big deal, no big cheese. Down, down, up. Um, I just made up that expression, by the way, no big cheese. I'm gonna use it all the time. I'm gonna make merch that says no big cheese on it. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And then finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, a full on bar chord, a B7 bar chord. So here's what you gotta do. You gotta put your pointer finger on the first fret of the second string from the top, and then you have to smash it down onto all five of the bottom strings. It sucks. It's a bummer. You're gonna hate it, and I hate it, and I am, and I, it, <clears throat> then you put your ring finger on the third fret of the third string from the top, and put your pinky on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. B7 chord, down, down, up, up, down, up. Let's play the whole interlude all the way through. What do you say? One, two, three, four. Here it comes. Well, everything's everything's ruined. Everything's ruined. That was the interlude. Are we ready for the chorus? The chorus of the song. Uh, that's where he sings. After all, uh, after all, you something. After all, you something. I don't remember. I have it. I wrote it down here. It looks like it says after all you you locked, you looked. Beats me. Uh, good news, chorus is pretty easy. Chorus is pretty easy. Well, it's basically just basic chords. We go like it starts with an A minor. We go A minor, and C, then G. Now the way he does G is ring finger on the third fret of the top string, middle finger on the second fret of the second string from the top, pinky on the third fret of the bottom string. If you have a different way you like to play G, that's fine. But this is how Alex G does it. G, Alex, Alex G. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Then it goes to an F. Remember our F chord from before? But at this point in the song, what he does, he plays the first fret on the top string with, the th with his thumb. It just gives a little more oomph. You can just do this one if you want. I don't care. Then we go to an E7 chord. Don't worry, it's easy. Top string is open. Middle finger, second fret on the second string from the top. Third string from the top is open. Pointer finger plays the first fret on the third string from the bottom, E7 chord. I keep going too far this way. You notice that? I'm going this way today. So we've got boom, boom, boom. Then we go back to F. I don't know. I think he just does the F major seven. Yeah, just to back to the normal F that we've done the whole time. Then this is the only hard part of the chorus. He goes. 
So here's what that was. Normal C, down, down, up. Then get rid of your ring finger, put your middle finger on the second fret of the second string from the top. It's like a C over B chord. You're gonna strum down, down, up. Um, or no, yeah, down, down, up. Then, then you go to an A minor, down, down, up. And then you take your ring finger and you put it on the third fret of the top string. That makes it into an A minor over G chord. And then we go back to our F with the th with the with the thumb. Have you? Can you tell that I've completely lost the ability to do anything? This has gone too long. And you go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Let's play the whole chorus all the way through because that was a terrible explanation. One, two, three. Four. E7, F major seven, here we go. F. Great. And now, he just repeats all of it. He does not play the introduction again, but he just goes right back to the verse, the watch your mouth part. He does that again. Then he plays the interlude exactly the same again. And then he plays the chorus exactly the same again. And then he just ends it on an F add nine chord. So that's the F chord with the pinky on the third fret of the bottom string. Oh, guys. I'm so glad I made it through this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I tried to record this whole video yesterday and I, and I just gave up. I've never just given up on a video before. <laughs>